basically involves relying on machines that we haven't invented yeah. to suck carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, which, you know, seems optimistic to say mm -hmm. the least, that your, your strategy to save the planet in, involves inventing something we don't know how to invent and somehow finding a way of powering it, which isn't going to use, make the whole problem even worse by increasing the energy demand when we have trees. Mm -hmm. And nature, you know, soils managed well can absorb carbon. Trees can absorb carbon. We don't need a technical fix. We actually just need to be looking for a natural solution very often. That's it. And a lot of it is taking existing processes and making them more efficient. That's a huge part of actually of resolving this issue of thinking about how we integrate trees within agricultural systems or whatever mm. else it is. And as we move forward and we have hotter days, like we've been experiencing, so we're filming this in... Um, July 2022. It was a couple of days ago. Was so far the hottest day, um, where it reached 40 degrees and parts of London caught yeah. fire, um, which is crazy. And we know that crops struggle to survive in that in those temperatures. So we need to look at trees and things within agricultural systems to be able to tackle that. And that's something we'll come back to because I know it's a part of the integrated pest management side of things as well. Um, so we'll come back to that point I think because it's a really yeah, good one. Sounds good. Um, and I've just found a point here about. Um, the comparison between insects for food and, and livestock. So yeah, cows require 55 times as much water and 14 times as much space compared to crickets for the yeah. same biomass. Yeah, it's a no brainer really, if we get desperate. That's it. And while we're talking about the, the value insects can bring, I found this, this point really interesting. So it talks about the parasitic worms in the dung of animals in Australia. And it says here that essentially we're giving um, pesticides to animals to get rid of these parasites, um, which is affecting the dung beetles and things that, that are there, if I'm correct. Yeah. Um, and it says, ironically, the parasitic treatments now given to cattle make their dung toxic to insects, which slows down the recycling of dung and exacerbates the very parasitic problem they're supposed to treat. Yeah. So because there's more <laughs> dung present. Um, and then it goes on to say, with each cow producing about a dozen cow pats per day, by the 1950s, the area of Australia covered by cow pats was estimated to be increasing by 2,000 square kilometres per year. Yeah, <laughs> so that, that requires a bit of explanation. <laughs>